Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more FTL Advanced Edition Hard Mode. We're on the Good Samaritan, and because we've been so nice, we've been letting everybody surrender, and even though we've gotten less scrap as a result, as a total, we have gotten a very, very powerful ship, I would say. Two flat cannons, one pike beam, dual lasers, long-range scanners, which we may or may not be able to cash in, and a shield charge booster. And then what else do we have? We have max shields, we could use to upgrade our engines, we could really use to upgrade hacking. And uh, I'm not going to be having a max level artillery beam, which makes me a little uncomfortable, but I have enough firepower to where it's probably going to be okay. As I said in the last video, it's going to be vital that I at least hit one of these repair beacons hard. And from the look of it, because the Rebel flagship is jumping straight to this one, it's probably going to go over here. I'm actually going to have to watch it really hard. Yeah, they are... It's going to be going here and then here, because that's the only way to get to the base. So we're not actually going to be able to hit more than one repair beacon, so we've got to be very judicious with what we hack. Unless we hit a storm that can buy all the drones. So, ship broadcasting, broadcasting, I can't talk anymore. Request for assistance, we're a good Samaritan, so we've gotta fight the ship. So, they have a defense drone, and I don't know if they can hurt me. So this should work out pretty well. Oh, they, there's, a, there's a second laser tucked up over there. They might be able to hurt me. Let's go ahead and mind control you. We're not going to drone, but we are going to misplay and fire before our pike beam is ready to go, so I can't get the pike beam going early. I'm getting, once again, a few jumps in recording. It's really odd. I don't know what that is all about. So, but we can do this still, so... Let's see if we can get all these rooms. There we go. Pike beam, power, and we take out their, uh, we take out their ability to pilot, which is good. That's what you always want. And that was just kind of a nice cleanup. Hopefully we can do the same against the flagship. So 54 scrap, and the survivors were fleeing. But they thanks, they say thanks for the help. So we do have a store. I'm going to hit the repair first, because that's going to give us some extra scrap to do some things. 30 scrap. Kind of want to wait until we get towards the flagship to see what we can get. Hopefully the store doesn't get overtaken by the Rebel Fleet next. Because that would be a nice place to repair. Sell the long range scanners and possibly do one more. So we can counter that mind control. I think it's probably better to hack the weapons here. Just because I really don't want to get missiled in the face. Alright, so I'll let that fire. This is where I really need to level up my hacking. Okay. Not the best. Only a little bit of damage in there. Okay, we got our first big-ass missile coming, and our hacking just got knocked out. Okay. Uh, micromanage. Let's hope we can dodge it. We didn't dodge it, and we got hit in the shields. Well, that's awesome. Okay, we are officially at risk. I've got I've to take out this ship now. Okay. So one more bomb. This should be enough. There we go. So a little dicey, but we got it. 63 scrap. Those AI never went to surrender school. And it looks like we got a lot of repairs to do. Which is fine because we have time to do it. Oh, and that's right. We're about to face the flagship. So I really need to upgrade my uh, oxygen too in the off chance that I get hacked there. All right, repair arm. Uh, that could be good. That's not better than anything I have. I could to possibly double flak halberd beam, but I think what I have is probably better, or equivalent, functionally equivalent. So long range scanners. That's 15 more scrap. A little bit of repair every time we uh, fight. I mean, where else is our scrap going to go at this point? So we have 13 drones. I really hope that's enough. Let's 
So let's see, we need one oxygen upgrade. We need one here, one here. Yeah, we don't need we don't need no stinking repair arm. But we do need to buy some repairs. And we do need to actually repair our ship before we go forward. So it's about to be flagship time. The repair arm's gonna be good for just a few points of health, and that could make a significant difference. But I think upgrading my hacking is gonna make more of a difference. At least that's the hope. So look at what happens in four people repair shields. This is gonna be a good test of uh, metal. It'll be the first time I have, in this new season of FTL Advanced Edition that I have actually fought the flagship without cloaking. Cloaking is very powerful. But it's not necessary. I have one without cloaking before, but let's see if we can do it today. Flagship time! We've made it this far, so we've already won in our own way. They're gonna cloak first. What's gonna get hacked? Doors. Doors is the perfect hack here because it does nothing. So the question is, what do I want to uh, take power from? Probably, probably the air first in this case. We don't need to do that just yet. But we can level 3 hack their shields. I guess the other question is, do I really need 3 power in the artillery beam? Probably for this portion. Because the goal here is still to finish as fast as possible. Alright, see, hacking the weapons doesn't do as well because you can only hack one weapon system at a time. So, level 3 hack go. It's very risky to uh, move off of this here. We're going to do it for now because I really want to keep the evasion up. And what do we do? Mind control here. Oh god, right in the uh, shield balls. And in the mind control. Okay, well. We can fix that. It's hopefully not on fire. It's of course on fire. Well, I guess we're not using mind control this time around. So what do we pike? I guess we pike all these. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There's not many shots that'll get you more than five. These are all very important systems. We need to get our shields up so fast. Okay, I'm good with you cloaking there. Good, let's go ahead and get you up. More bubbles of shields is way more important than anything else right now. Except for maybe evasion. Okay, we can deal with that. Run! Run and repair. And we still have our uh, other thing up, but let's go ahead and see if we can just do a lot of damage now. Alright, shield's down. Which means we might be if we can pike for five, we can pike for the win. Oh, that's a lot more than five damage. Alright. Didn't even get the artillery beam shot off, so that was three wasted power level time. Alright. Pretty good. The repair arm could have saved us some uh, healing here, but... It's a good phase one. About as, about as good as you can hope for. So Matt, back to your sensor post. You up here down so we're doing good real tail of the tape is going to be the uh, next phase because we can't cloak out the drone swarm and we'll have to hack early so we may just be moving this around for when the missiles come all right you know i could jump here and then repair since the store is still up uh, fix, 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 fix. We have nothing else to spend the scrap on. Cool. Let's do it. 
By the way, for those of you who don't know, if you visit a jump that the rebel ship's already been at, it's an empty jump. So here comes the scary part. Okay, we're gonna see what we can do about mind controlling this in just a second. Hmm. Do we do what we did last time? Because we want to get at least one mind control, but that's not really a vital system. Not quite like last time. Shields are what's going to be really important for this part, so we're going to go ahead and power up our mind control. We needed to have already hacked. Well, wait. Let's wait and hack, because they have a defense drone. If we fire all this at the same time, and then fire our hack. Good, that actually landed. Good, okay. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able... Oh, you know what? If we hack now, we can totally get some damage in. So what do we want to go from? We want to go from here to here. Just to try and get as much hits in as possible. Let's go ahead and mind control on you just as a good course of practice. Fire here. All right, what else is hurting? Oh good, med base down. Let's get you out of here, your work is done. And now we just need to uh, drop everything, max defense. And hopefully we can get out of here. So we knocked their shields down. Once again, this is not gonna fire in time. Guess that goes to show how powerful our ship is. And look at look at our MVP shield recharge booster today. That's doing a lot of work here. So phase two down. Alright. 21 more scrap. There's not a lot that we can do with that. We can put you all here. Put you in there. We learned last time that two hull punctures can make you kind of have a bad day. But one hull puncture is probably okay if you max your O2. So, this is where if I had upgraded my artillery beam one more time, it, I would have actually gotten shots off. But because I didn't, it's not really doing a lot. Now, it's going to in the last phase, because the last phase naturally takes longer. But overall, I'm very happy with our uh, cruise performance. If they don't get a double kill here, they may a uh, double kill where the flagship dies and they die. They may even get accommodation, but of course the first thing is they need to actually win. So anybody not hurt? Matt, you're not even getting hit the most out of everybody. It's funny that he's been in the sensor room, but he gets so much repair help. So you're maxed, you're maxed, you're maxed, you're maxed. That's good. Once again, would love to have maximum doors, but we're going to go with level 3 doors. And we have our own defensive mind control. And I don't have enough scrap to do anything regarding the uh, reactor here, so we shall... Well, okay, this is not going to be... Those are not going to be relevant early. We don't need to power up the hack till later. Phase 3! Let's see if we can make it happen. So they're boarding right away. We're going to counter the mind control immediately. Nysos has a very good uh, venting layout. And uh, we actually do need system power here. I was wondering why I was suddenly floating one extra for that. So these are all going to be hits. Now there's the uh, Zoltan shield, so this is not necessarily going to do anything yet. Okay, first missile volley. There's not going to be a lot I can do about that other than hope that I can dodge. That was not what I was hoping for. It's actually ridiculously bad. Fire again while you still have the power to do so. Close this door while we still have the power to do so. 
get out of there while you still have the power to do so. Doors are going to be offline. All right, so things just got a little more real. So here's your being mind controlled now. Let's run you to the med room and let's run you here to repair. This is going to be a little tricky to get out of. This is where, once again, it's going to take longer. So we need to get you all to fight. All right, so mind control. It's better that I mind control you guys. And let's get you to heal first. And let's get our hack ready. The Lord knows we're going to need it. Here comes the super weapon of doom. At least their Zoltan shields are down, so... Hack the shields. Gotta be a shield hack. Who's dying? Stick's dying. Why are you dying, dude? Don't die on me. Oh good, the oxygen's gonna go out too. Okay. That's fine. Well, let's just set everything on fire. I think that's probably a good plan. This means we absolutely need to prioritize putting this out. That's why I said doors are so important. Okay, so who's dying here now? Stick's dying. Absolutely nothing you can do about it. We have even more intruders on board. You need to heal. Why aren't you being hacked yet? Or it's, oh no, my artillery beam's actually not going to fire either now. That stinks. So see, this is how... That's hard reset. Pause. Let's not freak out here. You guys need to go up here. We need to repair the oxygen first. This is why we keep the extra jumps available for this. It doesn't mean we have to do the fighting right away. So our doors are still busted. You guys are going to be able to go around a little bit, but that'll be actually okay. Please leave. Okay, so you guys are stuck on one side of the ship. We're going to take one more hull damage from the engine, but that's okay. We just don't want to take the additional hull damage from the uh, other side here. So, engines are critical. All the fire is just going to spread right now. Did I just lose a crew member? No, I didn't. But he is going to run through the fire. Okay, our oxygen is still online, so that's good. Yes, fight the NG in the med bay, please. Put you down here. We need our oxygen to not dissipate. Now we just have this nasty situation in this room. Alright. Let's put out this fire. See, it's fun. You think things are going to go so easily, and then they don't. Let's put out this fire. I think you got that under control. Why'd you walk through that way? That's really dumb. Let's put you guys over here. We need the med bay to not burn up. So how are we doing on health? Okay, you guys need to be our firefighters over here. Crew micro can be fun sometimes. We may just have to wait for the O2 to burn out here. Once again, taking the least optimal path possible. Let's put you all over here. Okay, so we got double NGs. You heal. So this is all going to go out in just a second because there's no air. Ooh, 
This is fun. It's a firefighter simulator, also known as a FTL Faster Than Light. If you're just watching, my name is Asher and I'm sending my slugs are taking. Why walk through the area that has air when you can walk through the area that doesn't have air? Let's actually turn off the air for a second so we can just snuff out the fire. Because that'll consume itself entirely. That's the kind of thing that if I had stuck around on the flagship fight, I would have died. Like, absolutely no question, I would have died. Now we get to play a game called... Can we actually... Prepare the air... While you're there. So we'll send Raffin in at the same time. We can actually go ahead and send you all in there to repair that. Let's please not walk the stupid way. Thank you. And let's just fix the doors. Just one health point is all we need. All right. I think we're about ready to re-engage the flag. Oh, nope, not that one. Okay, so can we keep this room from dying here? There we go. So see, sometimes you just got to take a little bit of a break and say, okay, can I back out of the flagship? That's one. That's another reason you want to engage early. My health is pretty low compared to what the flagship is, but because I got hit in the doors, it snowballed hard. And the crew that died is still actually dead, I think. I don't think it regenerates between jumps. So everybody back to stations, close doors. We only have one more shot at this. So let's make it count. I'm not going to be able to hack it first. Cool. Flagship, how many jumps until the base? I guess we just wait. Hey guys. You're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with that amount of damage, but it fights anyway, and we are not going to be getting boarded anymore. I don't think. If they do board us, that's going to actually be really problematic. So he's going to the cockpit. So apparently taking all those guys with us was just enough to make that work. So we'll see if we can get some better RNG here instead of having to deal with doors. I was hoping for better RNG. Turns out that was not quite in the cards. So we do need to put out this fire. We do need to pump up the oxygen. We do need to put you in here to repair. We do need to fire our damn weapons. Oh god. Zero, uh oh, zero evade. Get in here please, oh no. Okay, 30% evade, not awesome, but. And our doors are gonna burn up again. Notice a trend here? Okay, artillery beam down even further. I guess we didn't really need the power anyway. Let's get you back here to help repair. We actually want to keep that closed. All right, what else can we do? We can actually fire on the ship. That's what I would do to start with. Just sitting here with all of my guns ready. So there's one artillery beam shot. Oh god, who's dying? You're dying. And we don't have mind control up yet, so... I guess we're gonna get missiled again. And we lost... We lost Matt. No, we didn't lose Matt. Clutch. Matt in the clutch. All right. So we're almost dead, but we're not dead yet. All right. Nobody said this is going to be easy. Now, we are going to be using this to counter the mind control here. Let's not get cute. And let's just go ahead. 
Max Hack now. Okay, it's gonna be pretty damn close. Super Weapon Online again. really want you not fire on me that way. Oh good, we're still alive. Somehow, someway, we are still alive. And in fact, if I can get this shot off in time, if two of those missiles don't hit, or if two of those lasers don't hit, we win. It appears the ship is also equipped with an advanced AI system. Now the crew's dead, it's taking control, and we barely won! We have one health left, and we have a system that's actually on fire. So if we don't put out that fire in time, we're screwed, but... Oh! We died! We both died at the same time, so no hazard pay for the Samaritan. What does being nice get you but a double kill? Whew! But ensuring the Federation victory. They made the ultimate sacrifice. It's all good. 4,627, and that is an incredibly low score. Funny that I don't get the victory on the Federation A, but the Federation B is just so good. Artillery beam even coming in there at the last second. If I didn't fire that just the right time, I'm not even sure the uh, flat cannon would have saved me. But the Samaritan doing its thing. Not at all a top score because I took so many surrenders, but that is another win in a surprisingly dramatic flagship fight. So I really hope you enjoyed it. We do have the Federation C unlocked, and we can do that. We may do that next. We may not. It just depends. But still, that was, a, that was a fun one. That was a little bit bonkers, I thought. But I'm not going to have to even do anything to adjust the timestamp. That actually took the whole 30 minutes. And I thought I thought it would go in just a little bit faster. But see, we got you, you don't get points for kill points for getting surrenders. So we really suppressed our score. And we didn't get... How much scrap did we get that one? 1,600. We could have probably gotten closer to 2,000 there. Because we killed 26 ships. Well, 26 ships is not including the ones that surrendered so that's part of it too we could have gotten a lot more kills a lot more scrap but that was a fun challenge i appreciate the suggestion if you have other challenge suggestions don't forget we also got slice and dice hit every room of the ship with at least one beam in under five seconds that's pretty cool but that's it for now hope you enjoyed it this is asher i'll see you next time with more ftl advanced edition and other videos feel free to check them out rim world's a lot of fun got some stuff going there and we'll we'll chat about it later Thanks for watching. See you next time.